So on Monday at the Legends Golf Course, Jim Hart held his annual charity golf tournament, and many former Big Red greats were on hand. People like Jackie Smith, Roger Worley, and Irv Goody, who've all lived pretty good lives after retirement. Louis Sharp hasn't. Instead of going to the Hall of Fame, he went to prison. With the help of editor Bill Bennett, we give you the story of this former St. Louis Cardinal. Very few have had 58 years on this earth like Luis Ernesto Sharp. A lot of fame, some fortune, and quite a bit of failure. But now it's about redemption. Winners never quit, and quitters never win. That's, that's my mantra. It's just one lurid headline after another. It's a sad story. And a, and a lesson about, and a lesson for all of us is that no matter how high you, you can get, you can always fall. And, you know, it's up to you to kind of pick yourself up. Louis Sharp was a high school All American in Detroit. At UCLA, he was an athletic offensive tackle who, at six foot five, 280 pounds, could run a 4840. And he gave a sharp focus to a St. Louis Cardinals offensive line as soon as he arrived as a first round draft pick. He was the one opening up holes for O.J. Anderson. And number 67 liked to celebrate in the end zone. Jim Hannafin was his coach then and his close friend now. The guy has got great size. He's got great mobility. He's, he's intelligent. This is going to be a fun thing to have, this guy. Not for the opposition. Number 67 punished people. He started 189 games in the NFL and went to three straight Pro Bowls. The work ethic was unbelievable. And, uh, you know, he just exudes confidence. And uh, I love playing behind Luis. But right in the middle of sharp, gripping alignment, a drug was grabbing a hold of his body. Not very smart. I, I figured that, you know, a young um, uh, uh, black athlete, African-American athlete, coming from the inner city of Detroit, you know, and reaching uh, the, the status and, and the success of our number one draft pick and making the kind of money that number one draft picks made, that was just something that was done, you know, in the NFL and hanging out in the streets with women and, and things like that. You know, that was my perception, that was my idea. And it was the worst idea of Sharp's life. He was addicted to crack cocaine for 20 years. The man who used to perform in front of tens of thousands of people once was beaten up and found shot in a crack house in South Phoenix. Sharp was arrested multiple times on drug-related charges. He spent eight years in prison. Shock. It was hard to hear, it was saddening, because he was such a special person. It was a tragedy. And in prison, Sharp almost lost his life. Uh, there was a riot, it had nothing to do with me, but you know, the prisons are very segregated in Arizona. And, and there was an issue with uh, one of the black uh, heads and, uh, and the white heads over a gambling debt. And so I just got caught up in it, and about 10 guys jumped me. Um, again, I was, uh, I was kicked uh, in the head, my orbital, bone was broken and I spent like a week in the hospital recuperating. But it was also in prison that Sharp eventually gave his life to Christ. I accepted him and I remember studying the scriptures uh, while I was in prison and, uh, and these scriptures that made absolutely no sense in my life. Throughout my life, all of a sudden they opened up and I started seeing myself in biblical characters and I started having some hope that if the God uh, of the Bible could deliver and change those men's hearts, he certainly could and would deliver me. It can use me, you know, of maximum value in the community. My name is Louise Sharp. I'm here to tell you, you don't want to go where it is that I've been, losing your freedom, being apart from your family, okay? I had a lot of successes. Uh, I became an all pro. I was a team captain. I was making lots of money. I had all kinds of adulation, fans in the, in the community. But you know what happened, fellas? I didn't stay centered. I didn't know who I was. So now Sharp travels the country to tell his story. Do as I say, not as I have done. What was my great, greatest curse has become my best blessing because now I found purpose, I found significance, I found value uh, with my life, doing exactly what it is that I'm doing, sharing with these people that you know recovery is possible. You can become a productive, responsible, law-abiding, tax-paying member of society and you can, any person that's addicted to substance can lose the desire, stop using drugs, and live a new life. And that's what Louise Sharp is doing now, living a new life. The long battle with each and every demon appears to be over. 
it's time to live. And I spent some time with quite a few of his teammates at the golf tournament, and they're just pulling for him really hard. They know that he did this to himself, but they've always liked him so much, and they're just so happy that, you know, he's found a purpose in his life, and he's beaten his demons. He's been through it. Yep, he has. All right, Frank, thanks.